Would you like to see how a supplier can reuse diagnostics of one ECU for multiple OEMs? Then stay tuned! Welcome to this Candela Studio Engineering video. My name is Mario Fuxa and I'm a developer in the Candela Studio development team. In this video, I want to show you the multi-OEM support using Candela Studio. Let's assume that you as a supplier want to develop an ECU and you have already prepared your diagnostic specification in a Candela document, which contains an ECU specific part and also an internal supplier specific part. Your Candela document, of course, is based on a Candela template, which might be a dedicated supplier template or our standard vector ODS template. Now let's for further assume that you want to develop your issue for a specific OEM. And this OEM provides you a dedicated OEM template. You instantiate this template and then you have your target Candela document with the right structures for this specific OEM. Usually it has predefined OEM specific diagnostic contents. But now the question is how to transfer your diagnostic contents which you have already specified on the left side. And the answer is the mass data transfer of Candela Studio. It automatically transfers all your DITs, I.O. controls, routines, DTCs and events with one button click. If you then have your target document prepared for implementation, you can perform a text export directly from Candela Studio and then you have a diagnostic extract which you can use for AutoSAR Classic or AutoSAR Adaptive Implementations. Further, you can use the Candela Studio target group export to cut out your internal supplier specific contents from your target Candela file and then you have a OEM CDD with, which contains only those informations which shall be visible to external consumers. You can alternatively perform an ODX export in Candela Studio if you want to provide your diagnostic specification in the standardized ODX format. I have opened Candela Studio version 17 and I have prepared a sample document for supplier diagnostics. This document contains common diagnostic elements like different classes for DITs, I.O. controls, routines or a primary fault memory. What is interesting here is that some diagnostic instances has been set as the supplier target group which can be used for a later target group export to cut out your internal supplier information. Now let's switch to a sample target document based on a fictional OEM template. It only contains some predefined data like sessions or a vehicle identification number or an OEM hardware number. But now we want to transfer all our interesting diagnostic contents from our supplier diagnostics file. For this, I select the target variant, the common diagnostics, and then I switch to the tab data exchange. Here you can find the button transfer diagnostic instances, which you can use to perform the mass data transfer. I click the button and then I can select my source document, which is the same one as I have opened. And when I press OK, the mass data transfer happens and now all my interesting diagnostic data has been transferred into this document. So let's see, we can see our 
different dits like identification, stored data, dynamic data. I can find my IO controls and also my routine control instances. It's interesting here that in my source document, I have one diagnostic class for routines, while in my target document for asynchronous and synchronous routines, there is a dedicated diagnostic class. And the mass data transfer feature automatically determines in which diagnostic class a diag instance fits best. I hope you enjoyed this engineering video where I have shown you how you can use Candela Studio for a multi-OEM approach using the mass data transfer feature. See you the next time. Bye bye.